I took a bet. I bet my chat $50 that Slanesh was so OP I could win with them without the right click. What what does this even mean? Well, uh, essentially, it means we will not be able to give any attack commands to our units. Should be pretty interesting. That's the problem. I don't know if he's in chat to actually defend himself. But I guess we'll see. Oh, whoops. I already, already screwed up. I can't right-click drag. Yeah, failure already. Oh my gosh. All right, here we go. I have to move them purely with alt. So this is alt left click. I can use control to rotate them. I can also use the arrow keys to move them up like so. <laughs> I gotta I gotta add a special section today. Let's see, right clicks. One. <laughs> the impulse, the impulse to right click is too strong. So because we can't actually land any charges running into my opponent, it's actually just sort of suicide. So instead, I'm just gonna sort of stand my ground and then have him charge me. And that's the way that that's the way that we're gonna make this work. Now Sigvald, of course, he's amazing on the right flank. Just because he can sit there and, and stay nice and safe. And then I guess we I guess we get ready for the spawn summons. Yeah, oh, this is the keyboard shortcut day indeed. Oh look at that, we got some skinks. Okay. Pretty interesting. Uh I guess I can push them with my marauders. We'll just force path our way through. There we go. Come on, marauders, get them. <laughs> Get them, Marauders. Hit them. If I hit Halt, will they attack? So I have Halt bound on, on H. And look at that. Look at that. They're not attacking, are they? <laughs> Come on. Go, go get them, Marauders. Okay, you know what? We're just going to do the plan B and just sort of stand our ground. In the meantime, I guess I can also grab a Skirmisher. Park him over there. We got the Sigvald moving on in. These guys are just going to scoot up a tiny bit. Looks like they will be fighting the Saurus. That's very good for us. And yeah, looks like the guy's having a pretty hard time. Let's see if we can get Sigvald to go and fight him. Sigvald's just going to park himself right beside Nikai. And that should that should be enough. And then I think my spawn will just sort of move them in. Alright, here we go. Pit of Shades, as we all know. Very strong ability. Let's, let's plop that right down on top of the Saurus Warriors. And then uh, I guess... Let's see how we can get Cavalry to work. So I have no idea how Move Command Cavalry will actually interact with the game. I'm pretty sure they'll just be useless, but let's see. So good old uh, Alt Control to get them to get the rear charge ready. And will they, will they actually get the, get the charge? So here's the thing, right? I made a leadership video today. Will they actually get the charge in the rear debuff if I just give them a straight move command into them? We'll see. We'll see. In the meantime, over here, it looks like the Mortis is doing well. Oh, and he counter charges. That's a good way to defend against uh, the charge in the rear uh, debuff. So I uh, quite quite like that on his part. And can we get some spawn? I guess we'll, we'll see. Over here, though, we can see just how strong the Marauders of Slanesh are. Despite having no attack command, they still grind the Saurus Warriors down to about, uh, about half HP, which is obviously quite a lot of damage for a 400 gold unit that already costs about half. Looks like the Mortis engine is doing great. Only 200 gold value, but it's slowly climbing up. And then uh, we will get some skirmishers just to sort of tackle that Nakai problem, but... You know, overall, I'd say I'd say this is going it's going better than expected. The Marauders are just sitting there. What are we doing? Yeah, yeah, those Marauders. They uh, they're they're a little bit janky here. Here's a here's another strat. I'm gonna run the Slanesh cab anyways because I think it's hilarious. I think these guys got routed off in the back. Yeah, I think they got chased off. But can I get these skinks to pull away? No, he just stands his ground. Oh my gosh. Well, you know what? We'll get the impact damage. I'll settle for that, and then um, at least they're gonna stop those skinks from firing. So that's a bit of a that's a bit of a plus. It, it actually looks like I'm playing normally to my opponent. Yeah, except suspiciously, none of my units are, are doing any damage on the charge. But look at that, the Hell Striders with the move command in, already 200 damage on these skinks. That's amazing. I'll take it. You know, let's get some Furies too. Now. <laughs> Can the Furies chase down the Pterodon Riders? This, that would be a little bit of a, that, that's sort of a hard maybe, I think, on, on those guys. Because on one hand, if the Pterodon Riders run away, there's no way I can easily chase them. At least I can distract the Chameleon Skinks pretty well with, with my Hellish Riders, but let's see these guys. So if I just give a Hulk command over there, will they actually attack? 
No, no, the answer is no. Maybe they'll start aggroing in a second. We'll see. I think the Hell Striders are doing a lot better than I expected, though. Um, and over here, things are things are going pretty great, you know. I think another Pit of Shades here will do us just fine. He's starting to cap this area. Let's summon another, another Hell Strider. You know, they are just that good. Man, if you give a Halt command... They really just hate attacking. Only just then did they start. That is that is, uh, that is, is pretty sketchy, but... Still, though, I think I can take care of those Pterodon Riders fairly well. Pit of Shades routed off those guys just fine. And man, we're gonna... <laughs> we're gonna get a triple cap on this guy. Look at that. Sigvald's even doing great over there. I think the Furies, though, I'm not really feeling the Furies. It might just be me, but they're like... They're really having a rough time without those extra charge attacks. Look at this, we got a few more skinks. Let's go ahead and deal with them. Here we go, janky Hellstrider charge away. Go, my janky Hellstriders. Defeat those chameleon skinks. There we go, they should be fine. Next challenge with guard mode on. Oh, jeez. Well, the thing is, guard mode on is a little bit easier for me to deal with, I think. Because, like, at least with guard mode, I can, I can give them attack commands. It just is a huge... It's like a huge tax on my micro, but... Honestly, man, Slanesh is, Slanesh is a beast. <laughs> Slanesh is a beast. Not a single charge command given today. Now, his chameleon skinks actually did hold up. My guys, I think the halt commands really aren't helping me out too much there. Let's see, the Furies, Furies didn't do great, do great either, but at least we have skirmishers. I'll get another, I'll get another group of skirmishers, and then hopefully we can chase down Nakai here. I think Sigvald should be able to hold this fine. But it looks like my opponent, he will be able to, to, to not get fully triple capped. So, very nice play on his part. Uh, I guess we should. Man, I'm getting like no kills too. That's the weird thing. Because I'm not actually chasing off units very effectively, we're not really building up our meter is very hard. Because like the moment they route, my guys just refuse to, to attack. And without any ranged play, it's just it's just rough. But you know, at the very least, I have the micro to keep chasing down Nakai. That's obviously uh, a pretty good plus. If we can kill him, then we won't have to deal with him anymore. And then over here, we got some skinks. And here comes, here comes the brilliant play, all right, people? I hope you're ready. So first things first, we're going to get a big old pit of shades directly on top of him. Start moving up with our uh, infantry. There we go. We catch most of those guys. And then the Furies are going to move in to give him a land command to try and finish him off. Uh, let's see here. Some pair of cold ones. Let's just run away from them. There we go. And then... Oh, wow. They're already routed. Wow. Normal Pit of Shades actually does that much damage to them. I guess it's because he lost his Lord. For two minutes, you're wondering why the short doesn't end until you realize there's a stream. Dang, all right. Here we go. Big play. Will Furies with the land command actually attack? Let's see here. Come on, you darn Furies. Oh, look at that. They actually got damage. I think that's because I resummoned them, though. Let's see. If we actually look at their damage, you're like, yeah, it's not going up really. Now it's doing a little bit, but okay. A little bit janky, a little bit janky, but I'll accept it. <laughs> Next challenge is with Connect. Yeah, can you beat Warhammer 3 with with just bananas? Can we do the bongos only Warhammer campaign? <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, this is this is pretty great though. Honestly, I think um I think the Furies are hot garbage. No need to run Furies. I do like the the Soul Grinders, obviously. Oh my gosh, 3000 value. Yeah, the Soul Grinders are pretty good. Um the Furies are are hot garbage. Of course, the skirmishers are great. Sigvald is amazing, as one would, of course, expect. Um, and then the spawn and marauders, honestly. If they just stand their ground and fight. Look at that. No charge command. Paid for half his value. The spawn, half their value. This guy, half his value. Yeah, so even without charge commands, they're still doing about as well as infantry will do. They usually don't pay for their full cost. Maybe, like, three quarters in the best case scenario. So, I'd say, I'd say, this, overall, this is a success. This is pummeling. I, I think at this point, this is pretty decisive enough where we can probably move on to, to Vampire Coast now. What do you guys think? Is it normal for Lizardmen to, uh, to be up and trading against Slanesh? Generally not, but a lot of the damage isn't actually counted in uh, in Warhammer right now. So, like, specifically this guy, Mortis engines don't actually get tracked in the damage. 
um, which obviously is is a pretty pretty big source of damage I would say and skirmishers too so uh, I sh I'm actually much more ahead than my opponent the problem right now is that I just um the problem right now is there's simply there's simply too much or no what am I talking about the problem is that uh, it's just not being shown in the top left corner. There we go. Is this quick battles? Yeah, it's quick battles. 